just a little bit more, so we're hoping that she can do that and bring it back to the newsroom. In the meantime, if you love jumping in puddles, probably the month for you, huh? It really is. This is the fifth day in a row that we've had measurable rain wow. in Buffalo, and uh, we are on a record setting pace for wet weather right now. So we really could use some dry time. We really could use some sunshine and we're getting some right now as uh, as it just so happens. Uh, your top temp today in Buffalo, actually the current temperature 65 degrees. Hey, that's not too tough to take given that the normal high is 54 and uh, we are going to find much milder air coming back our way as we head into the middle of the week and the next couple of days I think will feature again some much needed dry time. We had a tenth of an inch of rainfall today in the rain bucket again marking five days in a row with measurable rainfall and I was going back through the records going back into the 1800s. This is the wettest start to April since weather records began in Buffalo and the same can be applied to nearby Rochester. So we've had 3.76 inches now for the month. That represents a surplus of more than two inches. We're going to give the old waterworks a break and the sky is clearing very nicely here for tonight. And once the sun goes down here shortly, temperatures are going to take a tumble, dropping quickly through the 50s down to the 40s overnight. But that mainly clear sky will be great for you stargazers out there. Get out, if you can, into some dark country skies. Look off to the northeast, the beginning of the Lyrid meteor shower. So you're looking off towards the constellation Lyra. Where's that, you ask? That would be off to the northeast. It starts tonight. It peaks right around April 21st or 22nd, and it pretty much goes through the end of April. And so you have an opportunity here to catch quite a few falling stars. So that's kind of nice, especially this part of the world this time of the year when it tends to be rather cloudy. So we clear tonight. We're dry and partly sunny at least for Monday. Sunshine from hilltop to Lakeshore Tuesday and then more waves of wetness work their way through western New York for the end of the week. What's new in this month of April showers? Temperatures will be into the upper 50s tomorrow. Nice way to start out the week again with a westerly breeze. Do want to let you know there's still a severe thunderstorm watch for Potter and McKean County. I think this will be allowed to expire very quickly here though because the line of thunderstorms that did blow up is now exiting very rapidly south and east. We get a break from the uh, wet weather as I mentioned for tomorrow and Tuesday. There's the next weather maker that brings in the showers for Wednesday and Thursday and it kind of lingers I think all the way at least into early Friday and with any luck front comes on through for the weekend and we start to dry out but again we've already had this impressive wet start to the month and by the time we get into the end of the week and early next weekend we may log another inch of rain. 65 delightful degrees out there with a westerly breeze and ample sunshine. Still a little bit of a gusty wind there down towards the southern tier. Look at how warm it is to the south. Oh, not that far off. It's 82 in Pittsburgh. There's that nice clearing coming in for tonight. We show you that here with the view from space. So uh, we are in fine shape going into uh, tonight with that clearing sky. And again, temperatures will be quickly dropping down to the 40s overnight with the breeze nice and gentle. Tomorrow we're looking at clouds and times of sun. The top temp at 57 with the wind out of the northwest and there is that super seven day forecast tuesday Ooh la la what a nice day wall-to-wall -wall sunshine luscious lake breezes rain will uh, return as we head into wednesday especially into the afternoon and we'll find that uh, rain continuing into thursday and even into friday off and on now it's not going to be a washout on friday but again you want to have the umbrella ready to go the showers linger into the weekend and look at how cool it gets we're back into the upper 40s for a top temp saturday afternoon but at least it will dry out nicely heading into sunday you're watching seven news at six stay with us